Hi gang, how's everybody doing? It's you got Mr. Fingers coming to you from Zagnif Central. Hope you guys are enjoying the weekend. The weather's beautiful and football is in the air. And today, we're talking about another college football tradition. We're talking about the marching band of the Ohio State University and the dotting of the I. You all enjoy. On a cool fall Saturday in Columbus, Ohio, you're very likely to hear cheers, jeers, and the occasional spelling of the state name coming from inside the 270 beltway that circles the city. It's a sure indicator that the state's beloved Buckeyes of Ohio State University are in action at Ohio Stadium en route to another victory. OSU has a rich football history to rival many dynasties in the sport. Since 1890, they have won eight national titles, 41 conference titles, and 10 division titles. To date, Ohio State is the only college football program to produce a two-time Heisman Trophy winner in the great Archie Griffin, and the Buckeyes boast one of the largest alumni associations in the country. In addition to its multiple award-winning football team, the pride and joy of the Buckeyes is its marching band. Nicknamed the best damn band in the land, its existence precedes the football program by 18 years. Known for their precision formations, open to the public pregame performances, and their ramp entrance, the band is beloved by fans around the world. In a musical program ripe with tradition, no tradition outshines the others more than the iconic dotting of the eye during the band's performance of the world-famous Script Ohio Formation. The idea was the brainchild of band director Eugene Weigel in 1936, where the first player to dot the eye was cornet player John Brungart. Since then, the honor has fallen to a fourth or fifth year sousaphone player. During the performance of Le Regiment de Sombre et Muse, the drum major and sousaphone player high stepped to the top of the eye. A new wrinkle was added to the tradition in 1938, when new eye daughter Glenn Johnson was led to the top of the eye too early by the drum major. Johnson then turned and bowed to both sides of the field to use the remaining time. The crowd roared furiously, and the bow has been included as part of the show ever since. To be appointed an eye daughter as a non-band member is considered a great honor. Examples include boxer Buster Douglas, Senator and Mrs. John Glenn, golfer Jack Nicholas, comedian Bob Hope, former OSU coaches Woody Hayes and Earl Bruce, and then retiring band director John Woods, just to name a few. Per current band director Christopher Hawk, there are currently nine sousaphone players awaiting their turn to dot the I before season's end. What makes this tradition more impressive? There have been very few changes made to this routine since its inception in the 1930s. Yet, despite the band choosing to stay with tradition, alumni, former players, and fans alike list this as one of the greatest college football traditions of all time. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, one of the most iconic Saturday football traditions in all of college football, the dotting of the eye by the Ohio State University marching band. You enjoy the rest of your day and have an awesome football weekend. We'll see you next week.